to Awake, Living with Purpose and Passion. My name is Susan Duffield, and I am your hostess for the next 30 minutes. Welcome to today. I'm very excited about today's program, and I welcome all of you that are listening in because we have an incredible, I I really feel honored having this guest on today. Little old Susan, little little teeny me, <laughs> and I am actually being graced with the presence of what I, I mean, I have left this gallery speechless. Um, I had the opportunity to visit uh, the Patrick Moore Gallery in Salt Lake, and for those of you that are listening, our guest this morning that will be joining us, we have Midge Woods, who is the director of the Akiana Art Tour. However, she has her own her own job, yes. quote unquote, Spirit at Work, which is located in Boise, Idaho, but located on the website also. And Akiana Kramerik will be joining us in just a few minutes. And I'm just, my heart is just pounding because I'm so excited. This, this young being is just full of life. But we're going to talk to Mitch for a few minutes first. Welcome, Mitch. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. I am uh, also very pleased to be here. And when you said that, that little bean, it reminded me of Marianne Williamson's quote that our greatest fear is how really great we truly are. Yes. You know, is our light. It's not our darkness. And <clears throat> and certainly, Akiana has um, it's been one of those uh, beaming lights in my life that I've just had to move toward and have no reason or, you know, intellectual conception why I was doing this. And then <laughs> all of a sudden I, I was drawn? there. Yes. <laughs> and I uh, just felt really, you know, called, I guess is, you know, people, I've heard people say that I've had a calling and yes. I go, what does that mean? And I actually can say that this, I was really called to do. Yeah, you now understand what I do. that means. I do. And uh, and it's through that experience that um, I have the trust that it, it will unfold, however it needs to yes. unfold, and I don't have to control it. No. <laughs> and and I <laughs> I have to admit that I one of my favorite my favorite processes in life is when it is effortless, when it just unfolds beautifully, and it just happens. And what is unfolding in front of you is beautiful. Right. Now, help us understand, before we get Akiana on here with us, help us understand what that calling was. What were you drawn to? Tell, tell us a little bit about that story so that we have an understanding. Well, I love telling the story because people just, uh, you know, are just in absolutely amazed because it's it's so true. And when we've all been there in a, in a uh, place that we weren't really sure what to do and we just had to keep moving forward. So in this situation, I was actually bringing uh, Dr. Emoto and he was coming from Japan and um, and I bring speakers and authors into the bookstore and we do lectures and workshops and book signings. And I was bringing him from Japan and this person um, from Minnesota gives me this email, sends me this email and it says, you should look at this girl, she's in your backyard. And I Googled her, and it's Akiana. I said, wow, that's kind of a strange name. And, you know, if you Google Akiana, you get four pages of Akiana. Mm. <laughs> and um, so I found her website and and called the telephone number on it, and her mother answered. I went, wow, this is cool. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I said, I see that Akiana's going to be publishing her first book. And they said, yes, they're just in. And I said, I would like to order some for the bookstore. And they came in, and they immediately went out. So I called back and talked to her father. And I said, now I really want to order books, and I want to order a few paintings, and I also wanted to see if we can get Akiana here for an event, for a book signing. And they were very excited. And I said, because I had never been to Boise, even though they lived in the northern part of Idaho, I, um, I said, well, I'd like to fly up and see you meet Akiana and then uh, see what I have to work with. So if I have to redo the entire store, I know what I'm doing. And they said, great. So I got on an airplane and flew to Spokane, drove over to their house in Post in Post Falls, which is about halfway in between. And I, they have this three-story house and 
they take me to the basement and there's you know it's a low ceiling basement as you're coming down all of a sudden there are 40 original paintings hanging on these walls in this basement and these original paintings are not small <laughs> no. um, i invite all of you to go to the patrick moore gallery in salt lake city because they are what four by five yeah there's uh, i mean you know, 60 by 70 you know they're a lot of them are really really big they're not they're not your typical two by three canvases <laughs> these are amazing almost life i mean they are life size they're bigger than life yeah yeah, they are. And she does paint bigger than life. Yeah. You know, so when I walked down there, I was just totally blown away. I just said, does it, how can anybody see these? They're in a basement in Post Falls, Idaho. My God. And they said, well, you know, lots of people do come. Yeah. Uh, lots of gallery owners and TV, media, you know, lots of people do. Uh, she's been really recorded <laughs> a lot. Mm. And, and I said, well, um, you mean nobody's taken all of these? And they said, well, we've taken them out. You know, we've shown them. Uh, but it's getting pretty difficult now that there's more, over 40 of them. And I says, well, that's what I want to do. I want to bring them all to Boise and show the breadth of this child's work. This is incredible. I mean, most people would never even get this far, you right. know, in a lifetime. Yeah. So I went back home thinking, oh, what have I done? You know, here I've committed to doing this huge project with no idea how to finance it, no idea, you know, you know what it was going to take. And, you know, I hadn't been in the art business for a very, very long time. I was an artist at one time, but that was many <laughs> lifetimes ago. And um, anyway, I walked into my store and we were having a, a class in miracles. And uh, there was 20 people in the class and I walked in and I said, you know what, I need a miracle because I have just told this family that this is what I was going to do, I was going to bring all this artwork. And, you know, and I have no idea how it's going to happen. And then there was a man in the class that was sitting there, he'd never been to the class before, and he said, well, how much money is it going to take for you to do this? And I said, I think it'll cost about $30,000 to get this um, event here. And he said, oh. And he pulled out his checkbook and wrote me a check for $30,000, and he handed it to me, no strings attached, and he said, well, then you better get started. And, and that's, so that's why it's here. That was the first miracle, <laughs> and hopefully your first miracle. Obviously, oh, yes. Obviously not Akiana's first miracle, because... No, Akiana is a miracle, yes. but, um, but she is in the process. But uh, what I see is that when we brought it to Boise, we had 15,000 people, we sold... Uh, 2,500 books. We've, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we've sold half of the paintings before wow. the gallery show was ended, and and um, then Riley, I gave Riley back his thirty thousand dollars, and he gave it back to me and bought the rest of the paintings. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> but um, but the incredible thing is not any of that. The incredible thing is that when people come, they really are touched and transformed at their level of truth which is inside of them yes because she is a really is expressing a universal um belief you know yeah. idea a truth actually and it's a beautiful truth and it's you know we sort we talked about that a little bit on the way down here this morning that source of love and i know that akiana is on the on with us akiana oh, are you there akiana yeah. Oh, there. Welcome. Hey, Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Listen to that beautiful, soft little voice. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> well, no, thank you, Akiana. I am, I am incredibly honored, and just hearing your voices, making my eyes swell because I have the chance <laughs> to see your beautiful artwork on Monday, and Midge will, will vouch for me here. I I left there. I spent two hours. And I left there speechless because your expression is amazing. I, I don't even, I can't, I'm wrapping my head looking for words <laughs> that will help to define the experience that someone can have just by sitting in the presence of your artwork. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to encourage you to speak up just a little bit because you have, you have such a soft voice. Oh, that sorry about that. That's okay. I'm just, I want everyone that's listening to be able to hear you. Oh, of 